Behold the Compassionate. Prayers and peace be upon our Prophet. Our distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, peace, Allah's mercy, and blessings be upon you. First and foremost, I, Sajid, on behalf of Al Hassad International School, would like to seize this opportunity to extend my warm welcomes to you all and express my gratitude for being part of this great event under the title, Strength Lies in Differences, Not in Similarities, which celebrates the end of school year. We hope you enjoy the different items included and watch your children using English with ease and fluency. Now we will respectfully listen to some holy verses of Quran recited by Abdul Rahman Abu Lawi, 3rd M. second graders and performance entitled Make a Difference. process 
of our thinking. It can be changed without changing our thinking. lovely performance we are different we are special and with our difference we can make a difference in the world now let's welcome on the stage second graders L play entitled stone Good afternoon. 
What do you want? We would like something to eat. We are travelers. Now we are home. We have walked a long distance and we are very hungry. I have nothing to give you. Some of the Stravida knocked at the door, but they received the same answer. Nobody opened the door to give them some food. These people are so selfish, they don't like to share with others. Let's give them, let's give them a lesson. We will teach them how to cook a stone soup. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Some villagers were looking through the windows, waiting them to leave the village. What are they waiting for? They should leave. We don't want these dangers in our town. Let's go to the river to take some water. Yes, and don't forget to bring some stones for the soup and choose the best round and tasty. Later, the travelers came back with the stones and put them inside the pot. The soup will taste good. The people who were watching them all the time came back from their houses and went near the fire. What are you doing? We are doing a stone soup. Stone soup, I never had that kind of that soup. You have never tasted the stone soup? Oh, then John also to have dinner so you can taste it. Friends, today we have a special guest for dinner. We should put more stones to the soup. Very well. Excuse me, kind women. Do you have a spoon? We need it to make a stone soup. Yes, yes, let me go get it. <laughs> you are very generous. Then a woman went near to see what was happening. What are you doing? We are making a stone soup. Did you take a stone soup over our driver? Yes, we did, and the soup smells good. I don't smell anything. To tell, to tell me the truth, I'm very hungry. Then a woman with a spoon came back and also brought her plate. A traveler tastes with a soup and said, Mmm, mm, it's so delicious. It only made an onion. I, I have some onion. Let me get it in a minute. Very good. Very good. 
the soup will taste better and also bring your plate and have dinner with us. running and soon came back with some onions a traveler tasted the soup and said mmm it's, mm, it's, it's so delicious I think we also need some carrots I have some carrots at home let me get it in a minute mm -hmm. Mm, the soup getting better. Now it's time to put some potatoes. I have some potatoes at home. Let me get it in, in a minute. Another man that was in the crowd watching. The soup will taste not good. Hmm, we can still fix it. How about we add some meat? When the traveler puts the potatoes inside the pot. I, I have some potatoes. I have some meat at, at home. Let me get it in a minute. Some people from the village asked the three travelers if everybody could cook the stone soup. Okay. Then the man brought the meat and put it inside the pot while the soup was cooking. Some people from the village asked the travelers if everybody could cook the stone soup. Sure, it only needs some water, stones and a little bit of hunger. After a while, the soup started to smell really delicious. The stones in your village are so delicious. The soup will taste good. Bring your plate so we can all share the soup. And everybody in the village enjoyed a wonderful dinner while well, the travelers talked about their journey and all the places they had visited.
was such a great play to watch. Thank you, second graders. Not I can't do it. It needs every one of you. It needs you to take an honest look at yourself, realize your flaws, and consider the paths you have taken. Today, and consider whether this is where you want to be. Now we are going to have our lovely third graders, L, performance entitled, Together We Can Change the World. to one another in the daily total of life when you meet a weaker brother let's us help him in the stuff what's your purpose and your heart you each step moves you walk you only need to start help out a friend you're not the only one reach out and make a difference one word can reflect the God. One vote can change nation. One candle can light our darkness. Lend a hand to one another in the race for Andre's crown. Should it fail upon your brother, let not envy tear it down. Lend a hand to all we pray in their sunshine or in sorrow. The prize they've won today may become our own tomorrow. A star there in the mirror, the strength to face the day. The person you see before you is going to find a way. One voice can speak with wisdom. One heart can know what's true. One life can make the difference. One star can guide a ship in a sea. One step must start each journey. One hope will raise our spirits. One touch can show your care. Together we can change the world. I am alone in a world so full of it. There is nothing I can take in a world we live in like this one. Some people don't care wherever you go. Take a hand. Time will ease the troubled mind. There could be peace that you will find. If not today, don't give up. It may take time. Enjoy each song. There is none so rich but may, in his turn, be forced to borrow. And the poor man's lot today may become our own tomorrow. If we can bring a little cheer to each other is all fear, you will feel much more at ease and on life have a new lease. If you care enough to share a smile, a kind of words to others who may be in your same position of you. The reflection might be different, but that's all you see. It's more about the future and what you know can be. One flower can wake the dream. One tree can start the forest. One smile begins a friendship. not too late together we can change the world lay the puzzle pieces out find out what it's all about together we can change the world
leaders. Helping others is one of the values, the values that we must always keep close to our hearts. No matter how busy we are or what problems we may have, we should always find time to help others. Now, let us welcome our lovely first graders, L, poem entitled, Helping Others. <laughs> Too often, the word is from only about me. Others need help. And if only I would be more generous and caring for others. Realizing the end of the day we are all brothers. We will have to to help another. That is the lucky the other way of taking over. It's maybe money. Money, money, money. It's maybe talk. is certainly a way. We get back at the sense of being greedy. The world will love people who are needy. When you are well laid the help make hand and so. So why the times are good for you? Open your eyes and land the helping hand. There is such you can do and so much at all. Your further blessings come back to you. A feeling of thankfulness will be true. You will impact the lives of others in a way that you may not realize. Please help today.
to first graders. The feeling of happiness comes with being able to help someone in need. It drives us toward doing good deeds. We have to believe in ourselves and in our abilities to start our journeys. Now I welcome on the stage first graders K performance entitled I Like Me.
We are all different. You and me, that's what we call diversity. Every life is like a brand new song. It starts out with a melody, like the branches of a tree grows and grows throughout your whole life long.
fresh and make things fun like building a castle in the front. Small actions can make a big change, like helping someone cross the road. Helping others is all about what it's like to be a superhero with no doubt. Walk together and see how everything can fall into place easily. Lending a hand is always needed to make the world a happier place. When you make a difference, it gives a lot of new difference. Kindness is always in fashion. It can set off a chain reaction. Helping difference is always cool. It's like following a goal to the rules. Making a difference so cool. It's like being a superhero in school. When you help others, you help yourself too. It's like a winning that run. If you help anyone, it's in a toy. Make everything so bright. A little bit of help can go a long way. It can brighten someone's day. The land of happy can make someone happy. Joining forces is the way life's putting on a show. When you help someone, you make a new friend, and that friend that never ends. Cooperation is the key to unlock the door of destiny. Everyone has room to play when it comes help again anyway. Helping someone in need is a good deed that needs.
achieve your goals, get ready to make your dreams true. You have a look, Magic Lantern, but where is it? Let us see and know. We welcome on the stage third grader Zam with a play entitled The Magic Lantern. Oh no, I hate my life. <sighs> what should I do? Wow, what an amazing magic lantern. One day I had read a story about Ali Baba and how he used this device to achieve his ambitions. I am really, really tired and exhausted from my lifestyle. <sighs> my mom keeps always asks me to do my commitments, cleaning my room, brushing my teeth, and whatever else. My dad always asks me to help my little brother in his homework, and our teacher gives us a lot of homework. I'll rub this device, maybe a magical genie will appear. Welcome my friend, I'm a servant. Ask me anything you'd like to be. Anything I want? Yes sir. I would like to change my life. I hate it. Every day, my mom keeps always asks me to sleep early. My dad always forces me to play with my little brother and I don't like to attend school. Please, show me a new life. I don't like it. Please, sir, enter this gate. I wish I could work, provide food for our family, but my legs won't let me. I just want to save and warm blister this cold tonight in the tent are too much for us. I just want to go to school and learn like other kids. I just want to help others to win when I grow up. I want to make money and buy some food and one day I want to help other families who are in the same situation as us. That's so kind from you sisters and maybe one day if we all work together one day our dreams will come true. Yes, and we can make a difference in someone else's life too. Oh my god, they are so poor. No money, no home, no job, no school. Why you don't like this family life? Because they couldn't have their basic rights. Yes, the father cannot offer food, shelter, uh, food, shelter, clothes, and a good school to his own family. Please, show me a new life. I don't like it. Please, sir, enter the second gate. Why do you treat me this way? We are the same humans with dreams and feelings. You are different. Your appearance, language, nationality, and color make you inferior. No, that's not true. We are all equal, no matter where we come or how we look. I don't agree. You do not deserve the same right and opportunities. You should know your blame. Why not? We haven't done anything to deserve this. I hope one day come, uh, co someone come and help us to speak our right, dignity and respect. How do they come bear their injustice treatment? You have to know many people are suffering and being treated by their nationality, color, and even language. Please, show me a new life. I don't like it. Please, sir, enter the third gate. I wish I could read and write. I feel left behind. I want to learn. No money for school or books. Hope someone comes a volunteer to teach us and share some of his knowledge which we will undoubtedly pass on to someone else one day. Tired of feeling inferior, I want to learn. 
Is that true? Kids couldn't attend school? Yes, you have to know. Uh, yes, they have to work to get money to buy their daily meal. Please, show me a new life. I don't like it. Let's meet those kids. Did you see that family on the street? They don't have place to sleep or food to eat. But what can we do about it? We have our own problems to focus on. I saw some people asking for help how to learn to read and write. They can't afford it. And what about that man being cheated on family because of his race? We should do something. I know, but it seems like a lot to handle. We cannot solve all the world problems. But what if no one does? Maybe one day we will help them. Exactly, and even if we have one person, there will be someone else in need. It is too, it is overwhelming. It, we cannot save the world on our own. It is too late to change, isn't it? We have to focus on ourselves first. Maybe someone else will help them. No, no, no! It is not too late to change. We cannot let our fears and doubts hold us from making a difference. It is our obligation to use our no skills, talents, and money to create a better world for all. It is our duty to help those in need, to give them a voice, and to provide them with the resources they need to break the cycle of poverty and op oppression. So let us not walk on, but instead stand up and take action and make difference in the lives of those who need it most. The future is ours to shape. We have the power to create a society where everybody is valued and respected, regardless of their backgrounds and circumstances. Let us work together to create a world where no one is left behind. Yes, I believe it now. My life is the best. Thank you, my parents. Thank you, my teachers. Thank you, my friends.
stamp Jump in the air Show us that you really care passes the time. Vision with action can change the world. Now we welcome the, on the stage second graders and performance entitled Ready to Go. يعطيكم العافية أه بس في سيارة هونداي حمراء سوناتا ترميز 20 73027 لو سمحتوا مسكرة على أحد الأهالي بعد إذنكم هونداي حمراء سوناتا إذا قد أي حد معه هاي السيارة فهي مسكرة على أحد الأهالي لو تكرمتم Since you get more 
Out of human joy to others, you should put a good deal of thought into the happiness that you are able to give. If you knew what I know about the power of giving, you would not let a single meal pass without sharing it in some way. I feel that if you are pleased or lucky enough to be doing well, you should help others. Since you get more joy out of giving joy to others, you should put a good deal of thought into the happiness that you are able to give. If you knew what I know about the power of giving, you would not let a single me pass without sharing it in some way. If you want happiness for an hour, take a nap. If you want happiness for a lifetime, help somebody. Our fan purpose in this life is to help others. If you can't help them, at least don't share them. Make each new day count by helping someone or just making someone smile. Don't underestimate your vision to change the world. One of the most important things you can do on this earth to let people know they are not alone. If you help others, God will help you. Kindness and helping others will return to you when you need it. We make a living by what we get, but we make a life by what we give. Thank you.
you for your lovely performance. Our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the first one who did a clear change in this world. He is our role model. He taught us how to be good creatures. Now let's welcome on the stage, Third Graders K. محمد رسول الله والذين معه أشداء على الكفار رحماء بينهم تراهم ركعا سجدا يبتغون يبتغون فضلا من الله ورضوانا سيماهم في وجوههم من أثر السجود From the tongue of the guilty, Allah most eminent, most glorious. Ya Rasulullah, your life is mercy to all the creations. In our hearts, we perceive you through our hearts. During the first year of your life, you are in the tribe of Bani Sa'd. Nurse mothers could not stuckle you for this. The clouds in the sky were anger. The crowds even refused even a drop of rain. The land of Bani Sa'd went dry. Always enhanced by you, always shades you. People gathered supplicated requesting rain. Lady Halima embraced you with her face protecting you from the sun. But the small cloud in the sky enchanted by you always accompanies you. You are in the berries of the monk. Devoting himself, looking at the beauty of your eyes, the monk forget rain, duty and supplication, but you didn't forget the little cloud got enchanted by your glances. We will sacrifice our souls for these eyes looking at the sky. The little cloud got enchanted by your eyes, so it grew larger and larger, and the drops of rain started falling kindly. But most people did not know who. You, uh, but most people did not know what caused the rain. Most people did not know who you. <laughs> and at the age of six, on your way. To the enlightened Al Medina with your mom and Om Ayman. You felt orphaned by your father's tomb. And at Al Abwa, you had an appointment by the loss of your mother. You entered Mecca without a mother. So Abdul Muttal's love grew for you, and Abu Talib's love grew for you. Ya Rasulullah, did Mecca children call their mother near you? Did they used to look at the ground? Did they used to shout, Oh mother, how many nights did Mecca's went scary? That is to you to Abu. How many nights have you been screaming, weeping, mother, mother? Oh my master, at the age of 25, you are different from other people. Nobody reached was your level. Your nice smell emanates mercy. Your voice emanates peace. You are Muhammad al amin trustworthy at the age of 33. The blessings rush like waves. At the age of 35. Come, don't delay, O oh beloved. The moment knocked the door of heaven. Come, don't delay, O oh beloved. Just have been tidying from the language for Rasulullah. Come, 
Don't delay your beloved. You were invited to Jabal and Noor, the mountain of light. Why did they expel you from your land? Is it because you were left alone? They, didn't they know who protects you? They're, who found you orphan? Thereupon sheltered you. Who sent mercy to all creation? They said you are crazy, but you didn't answer them. They said you are a poet, but you didn't answer them. A man took the sword in your sleep, saying, Who will save and protect you from us? You say, Allah, Allah, this word drops from his hand. He fills the sky with awe. You were saying, Allah in battle, and his throne must high shake. You say, Allah. So he brought down to you 3,000 angels with their horses. You have with you 125,000 companions, saying, you dearer than my father and mother. Oh, Ya Rasulullah. You walked in the street of Medina, when the little gates of Bani Najjar tribe saw you, they were so happy, they didn't know what to do. You asked them, do you love me? They answered, yes, we love you, O beloved of Allah. And you answered, Allah knows that I love you. Many people in our age are not among the girls of Bani Najjar, but they too love you more than their own selves, and Allah knows that you love them too. At the age of 60, we pray and say, the highest companion, you wear a wool gown made for you, its edges are white. You wear it and went out to the companions and tapped your knees with your palms and said, do you see how nice it is? Someone called you in a gathering, give it to me, dear are thy my father and my mother. Why, for other than you, love, did he ask you, knowing you liked it, and knowing certainly you wouldn't say no, so you give it to him and return to where your past gone. Why would you remain still meeting the beloved Allah that he made for you the same God several times? But you were not visited to our aid. You said to news to Abba, all right? But there were people after me saying, We wish we could see our Prophet Muhammad in the cause of prostitutes and children. You spoke to us for our looking for your brothers. You said, I longed for my brothers, and they believed in me, and they didn't see me. My beloved, my beloved call from Medina's pulpit. Ummati, Ummati, wearing the dress of sadness. You who prayed to Allah from people's Mecca's mosque. It's Fatima al-Zahra, Muhammad's daughter, mother of righteous, your daughter beloved by you. I rise and your noble face. She is, she is, she is the one who spells you the most. She is just like you when she loves or weaves. It is as if we see you telling her, don't you cry, my daughter. At the age of 40, in while in Hadiya came, on Jabal and Nur, Jibreel descended from the sky, all out of creating grace, birth, blessing in peace for you, great heart more. Loading for you, you are for us. You are in the morning light of darkest and light. You are Rasul Allah. You are, you are beloved of Allah. You are Rasul Allah. Why did they make you sad? Why did they afflict you? Did they attack you because Abu Talib died? Did they attack because there was no one left to protect you? Is it if we see your tears by the Kaaba, saying, how soon did I feel by your loss, my uncle? Remember your prayers in the Holy Mosque, where they're putting trash on your head. We will sacrifice our heads for you. How deprived they were looking and laughing. Who 
is this running towards you in Mecca streets? Who is this running, running? No, who is this running towards you in Mecca streets? Who is this as if it's thrown descended from the sky? Who is this running? They wondered someone answers. We hear the debate. You are still at the age of 40 and you are still at the head of your nation. source of power. Let us welcome on the stage first grader Zam play entitled The True of Us. Gentlemen, welcome to our show about exploring the good and the evil in the world. Watch us of the student of the two of us. Meet a new substitute teacher with a negative view of their generation. Will she break your spirit? Let's find about the play of the two of us. He will teach you for two weeks until I come back. No! Welcome kids. Nice to meet you. I'll give you a spelling test. Or any mistake will go to the re-education area. I don't like the sound of this. Don't worry, teacher. We got <laughs> Let's start with easy one. You, there, stand up and spell ignorance. Oh, piece of cake, education, E-D-U-C-A-T-I-O-N, education, ha ha ha. What? You, there, stand up and spell bully. Oh, good there, 
S S U P P R R A R supporter. Supporting others is the ultimate win-win situation. What is happening here? You, there, stand up and spell hate. L O V E love. It's the all the he love. Uh, you, there, stand up and spell officer. D E F E N D A R Defender Protect you not to love is not just a duty, it's a privilege. You there stand up and spell hypocrite. Ah I took it I was gauging. H R L S E S T honest. What are you trying to do? Test your patient. Test your patient. B A T I E N T. Patient, you have to be patient. Be tense toward other is a reflection of your announcement. Ha ha ha. Stop that! You spot selfish. You and S E. L F I S S I'm selfish. Stinky. No doubt represented all it. All right. G E N E R O U S V O V generous. Are you mean? No. Guy, guy, guy. See, these students understand the importance of goodness, kindness, patience, and respect. No. That's all we need in life. No. How do you bring this word in the class and you know nothing about teaching and I'll show for you? You, there, stand up and spell anti creation Oh really? That's not a word. You just made it up. Although I can do it. A-I-T-I-A-C-O-U. Oh dear, dear, dear. There's a sun touch and you're going to the re-education area. of change.
a great and amazing performance. Let's close our ceremony with third graders KLM performance. Happiness is when you think, what you say, and what you're doing are in harmony. Let's welcome on the stage second graders K performance about I would rather be happy. When your friend makes you feel bad or criticizes you, it means that he or she doesn't respect you. Never bend your head, hold it high, look at the world straight in the eye. Treat others as you want them to treat you because not goes on. We have to learn that we have the same rights, even if you are different. We should listen to others without judging them. Respect yourself. Don't do what others tell you to do if you think it is not right. Respect is to listen, attend, and to treat it others as we would like to be treated. I must respect the opinion of others even if I disagree with them. It is important not to get into people's lives. Sometimes they need to be alone or have a, a, other activity where we can not to go and we have to respect that. We have to respect our parents and our elders. They have experience and wisdom and activities that they can share it with us. We shouldn't make feel bad. Other members or family even if what they like seems really close to us. I'm not concerned with you liking or disliking me. All I ask is that you respect me as a human being. Respect your parents, your friends, and your teachers.
for your great performance. Let's close our ceremony with third graders KLM performance. Our sincere gratitude goes to all parents who are a rock solid support system and encouragement. Without your support, children wouldn't have been able to achieve excellence. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to cheer up the students and praise the efforts of the school.